One of my players decided to roll a chaotic evil black guard for my current campaign. Said player's been in my group for about 2 years now. Bear in mind my current campaign is nearly at its first anniversary, mostly keeping his head down and sticking to fairly standard character archetypes, a paladin, a wizard, and so on. He's never been a troublemaker, but even so I was reluctant to okay the idea of a chaotic evil character in a party full of lawful good, chaotic good and lawful neutral characters, humble fighter disguise or no. He managed to talk me into it, but the entire time I was just certain he'd start up the chaotic evils and cause party strife by the end of the first session, assuming he didn't immediately blow his cover and get smite eviled into the ground. He didn't. In fact, in character, no one in the party has realized his true alignment yet, and as, as I mentioned it's been nearly a full year of at least B monthly session so far. In fact, He's probably done more good so far than the rest of the party combined. Sounds like it's Mythificking story timer. It started off all the way at the beginning of the campaign, when the secret Black Guard teamed up with the party paladin to prevent our cleric and ranger from killing young kobolds after the party had to clear out a den of them in search of a local treasure. After talking the rest of the party down the two helped the kobolds escape into the wilderness pointing them away from the nearby towns and their guards, the paladin of course certain that the kobolds would learn from this act of mercy and avoid attacking people in the future. The black guard in character agreed with the paladin, while explaining to me Oakley that he reasoned most of the young would likely die before they found shelter, and the few strong survivors would be out for revenge and would eventually terrorize the surrounding area once they built up their numbers. Later. I tried to involve the party in a fairly standard evil cult that wants to destroy the world plotline, which most of the party missed when they failed to capture any of the cultists alive and accidentally destroyed the main bit of evidence that was to lead them to the next plot point. I thought for a moment that the group might totally miss the entire quest I'd planned, but then the black guard managed to figure out the situation after taking a few of the dead cultists to a wizard dabbling in necromancy giving them over as test subjects in exchange for a little speak with dead interrogation. In fact, he skipped over a part of the plotline I'd planned, preventing a local nobleman's daughter from being kidnapped by the cult, entirely, instead learning the location of the cult's hidden temple directly rather than having to pursue the cultists as part of a rescue mission, rather than take this info to the party, however. He urged the party paladin to take everyone else bandit hunting while he wrapped up some family business in town. While most of the party went off doing their own thing, the black guard proceeded to infiltrate the cult by posing as a champion of the cults, fake, evil god and presiding over their human sacrifice, and derailed their kidnapping plans by declaring that their god didn't want a virgin sacrifice. Besides, their intended target had already been deflowered by the half-elf ranger. Little surprise there, but rather the blood of his most fervent followers. The cult leader, who'd started things up just to shill money but got caught up in the mood himself before he realized it, protested, but was quickly torn apart by his former followers before they all rushed to poison themselves in the name of their god. The black guard then delivered their bodies to his new secret necromancer cohort, earning his loyalty, and preventing the baron's daughter from ever being kidnapped in the first place. When I questioned the black guard why he, a chaotic evil character, had done all this without even involving the party in it, which would have been reason as merely him maintaining his cover, he pointed that now he and he alone, with the possible exception of his now lie necromancer if he chose to interrogate the dead cultists as well, knew the location of the cult's former lair, which he could use as a base of operations for later schemes if he so chose, and besides, wasn't it fitting of a chaotic alignment to interfere in other evil factions plans if they didn't match up with his own goals it hasn't ended there. So far he's helped the party overthrow a lawful evil king, to put his lawful good but untrained daughter and her secretly lawful evil, and friendly to the black guard, mentor and advisor in power, kill a dragon terrorizing the countryside, in order to get a share of its scales and bones and also grab up an evil artifact from its lair while everyone else was distracted. Talk down the paladin from losing his faith and falling after the party had to deal with corruption in the paladin's church, which the black guard pointed out would make the paladin never suspect him of evil deeds or buy into anyone else's suspicion of him, and has solo killed a lich, who was trying to unleash a plague of the undead on the kingdom the party liberated earlier in the campaign, 
Bear in mind this wasn't the Blackguard's necromancer ally either, another marauding dragon, which had recently laid an egg, which the Blackguard stole and kept for himself. It's attached into a steadily growing black dragon, another more competent cult, because their world ending plot would have actually worked, and this would obviously have put an early end to his own schemes, and an orc warlord who was plotting an invasion of a peaceful coastal duchy, he killed the warlord in single combat, claimed command of the orcish host, and ordered them back into the mountains to prepare for the day when he returned with a full, grown dragon to lead them all while keeping the party at large distracted with other matters. Out of character of course everyone all know what's going on, but in character none of the party even suspect that he's anything other than the most lawful good hero of a fighter to have ever lived. I'm not sure if he's doing chaotic evil wrong, or if everyone else is. The latter. He is doing chaotic evil right. In a Machiavellian way. The only way to do chaotic evil right. Bring down power systems and prepare your own. And when the time comes, bam total world destruction and all the loot. And perhaps lichdom.